Dennis, you have to feel good after hearing those call-outs last night. How do you, uh, what are you looking at this evening? Uh, first of all, I feel good. It's important thing. So I, uh, I had a good comparison, good call out. So we'll see. You have to feel confident. You have a good top six chance right yeah, now, right? Yeah. Very confident. And, uh, um, you know, I was looking good, and that doesn't count. You know, uh huh. For me. How would you feel uh, top six, top ten? Would you feel that that's a big step for you right now after last year? Oh, of course. You know. Uh, the most important thing for me was to keep it back, you know, to, to bring the size, to bring the condition. And, uh, you know, I, I think I made it yesterday. And, uh, yeah, I think I have a good chance of being top six. Crowd is still right behind you. Oh, Big yeah, Ben Wolf's yeah, a mean, big popular guy I out there. I see all the fans, you know, uh, the, also the pre-judging, you know, they uh, congratulate me for good condition, good shape. And, uh, I feel much, much more happier now. Whatever you did, the timing was right. So you, yeah, you, I mean, you're doing it by yourself now without yeah, the, yeah, the I gurus. Mean, after, after many years doing it with, uh, with gurus, uh -huh. now suddenly I'm doing it by myself. And uh, I need, you know, it was just the beginning, you know. So I know uh, what I have to do exactly now, and uh, next time it's going to be much, much better. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Brandon, what do you think going ahead and in tonight, 202 and men's open? What do you what do you like? Well, I've been really I've been looking at 202. I've been busy today uh, with whatever's going on. But uh, last night, man, to the top four guys, Branch, Jay, Phil, Dex, everybody's on point. It's just going to depend on what style the judges like. And since I'm a bodybuilder, I can't guess what style the judges going to like tonight. I think Jay has the advantage because he carries the title. And, uh, of course, I believe Dex would, too. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I can't call it. It's too close. What, when are we going to see you on stage again? Hopefully next year, by uh, early, uh, late January, early March. Which show are you looking to do? Get a flex in uh, the Arnold Classic. So. Cool, great. Yes, Thanks. See, they're going to get all the uh, previous Mr. Olympians together tonight on right. stage. Obviously, you're going to be one of them. Yeah. How important is that to show the fans the history of this great title? Well, I, I'm, I'm happy about it because we get to introduce the next generation to some of the past champions who have made the sport. You know, you have Chris Dickinson here, you have Luce Regno, you got Frank Zane, you got the awesome Sergio Olivier, I mean, just to name a few. So I'm I'm really honored to, to be a part of that group and uh, look forward to the opportunity to share with some of the young athletes. And also, with so many greats in this, in this sport that have won that title over the years, you are still holding that record tied for that record. How, how important is that to you to still be tied with that with Ronda King Coleman? Well, you know, man, it just goes to show that, you know, the, the all of the work, the dedication that goes into winning your first Muslim Olympian title is incredible. But then to hold on and do it for eight years in a row, it takes some, uh, it takes some different kind of a stuff. But it's a real honor. I'm humbled by it. And, you know, I always say the records are made to be broken. So if somebody can come along and break it, then my hands are off the door. That's what it's all about. Breaking records. And uh, one more quick one. Uh, who was your toughest competitor? Was it the Dragon Slayer? Well, Rich was always hard. You know, he's always a tough guy, you know. Of course, then you had Lee LeBron, you know. And then, of course, Durian came along big. Totally different than anybody I've competed against in the past. Uh, but I'd say when you come to that era of physiques, you would have to say Rich Gasparri, you would have to say, uh, you would have to say Lee the Problem. Both of them were just incredible. Balance, yeah. symmetry, you know, the, the care that they gave to their presentation, which uh, I feel lacks a little bit these days. You know, posing was a very big part of what we did during our era. Yeah. And we took care of them. We learned from Zane. We learned from Ed Corny. We learned from Boyer Coe. We learned from Arnold. You know, it was a uh, it was a part of our culture. Yeah. So I would love to see that a little bit sharper these days. A little more posing. Yeah. Getting back. More pop. Yeah. Thank you. And how's the supplement line coming along? It's coming along great. Doing fantastic with it. Uh, we're moving forward in it. But one of the things that I'm very excited about 
is that we'll be introducing a uh, what would be called the International Association of Fitness Science, the first certification program put together by an Olympian. So look for it to be very soon. If people go to my website, LeeHaney.com, they can find it there. So we'll be launching it within the next couple of weeks. It's the first certification developed by a real Olympian. And I'm not by myself in it. I am part of Arnold. I'm a part of Franco. I'm a part of Frank Zane. I'm a part of the history. So I don't do it by myself. It was the information I've learned from all these great legends from over the years. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Men's intermediate, normal. 